Hey y'all, hey, hey, hey. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I'm sitting outside. Y'all, I am so greasy, okay? Like, I am just through, like, my makeup is just shiny, oily, but that's what happens when it's hot outside and you're wearing makeup. Listen, y'all, let me tell y'all really quick here because I've kind of like, I've had my son with me, so I've kind of had the hot spot with me or whatever. He's, um, he's getting himself together for next weekend for our homecoming. So we're kind of like just running around and stuff like that. But I want, and the only reason why I'm going into that is because to let y'all know that I've been able to kind of like catch up on videos while we're like riding around and stuff and so of course I was in five babes uh, chat earlier and I was able to see um, that she had she did a fact check on the money gram uh, situation between lady Nika and sweet home Alamanda and so basically what happened with that is <clears throat> Lady uh, Sweet Home Alamanda sent Lady Nika some money to send to VS. It was up to Lady Nika to get the money back to Sweet Home Alamanda. Um, Lady Nika, she said on several occasions, all different types of ways, she was trying to get this money to Sweet Home Alamanda. It just wasn't working. She wasn't able to make it happen. Okay. So, um, she wasn't able to make it happen. Okay. She, her last resort was MoneyGram. She said, you know what? I'm just going to go to Walmart, send this MoneyGram so that way everybody has a Walmart near them some way. And, um, so that way. Uh, she can just go and just pick it up and you know I'm out of it I'm done so she said she did that on August 28th and by September 5th Lady Nika said that MoneyGram had contacted her uh, about the money not being picked up yet so since MoneyGram contacted her saying the money was still there she has conversations with multiple people, you know, her panel members on the Mess Express, um, Olivia the Oracle. She said that she had these conversations and they told her, girl, she already even told people that you haven't paid her. You might as well go, go get your money back, back since she's already told people you haven't paid her anyway. So she's like, she went against her first mind. And she went and got the money back. Okay. And so she said she didn't go get it back until September 6th. She even waited another day. All right. Home Alamanda said that no. That transaction 30 minutes after she made the transaction. She sent the money August 28th. And then she took the money back August 28th. So, Phi Babe, uh, so when you show a receipt, it has the tracking number on there. So, as long as you got the tracking number and the person's name, then boom, there you go. Anybody can check it at this point. So, Phi Babe went and did that. So, she was like, well, since I got the information, let me see when was the transaction canceled. <coughs> and there you go, MoneyGram website says that it was canceled August 28th not only that one of our angels were in the chat and said that they had worked for both MoneyGram and Western Union and stated that they don't call anybody they don't make phone calls about transactions um which I worked for Western Union before and I know Western Union isn't calling you about any they're not calling you okay um, so, but MoneyGram is the same. So that is the first lie right there that MoneyGram contacted her about the money still being there. Um, and then number 
two is with the information that Lady Nika provided on her receipt. It said that the transaction was canceled the same day that she made it. So Lady Nika is now saying that she has sent through PayPal, she has sent Alamanda this money yesterday. My question number one is how did she all of a sudden have a PayPal because she was saying that her PayPal didn't work when she tried it the first time. Not only that, she said that Alamanda said that, you know, she still didn't have the money or whatever. I guess after she sent it through PayPal. Um, so Lady Nika is saying that she sent it for a second time today. So she sent $100 yesterday and she sent 100 today. At the, by the time of the phone call, um, they were saying that the $100 yesterday did go through, but the $100 today is saying it's pending, so that has not yet went through. Now, here's my thing, and this isn't about liking Lady Nika or not liking Lady Nika because... I can enjoy Lady Nika's channel. I like listening to her story times. I think listening to her, the way that she describes things, the way that she speaks, you know, just the way that she talks she can grasp an audience, okay? Disgusting. The thing is the lying. The lying. Okay? She did not she has lied this whole time she has lied she's always had the correct information regarding cash app paypal whatever the address any way that she said that she had to send alamanda her money money she's had the correct information she said everything was wrong you try to mail it you try to cash app or you paypal nothing's working my thing is why not just send it the way she sent it to you nobody is answering that see here this is my thing and this is why i speak about these situations because people are going to talk to you and tell you what they want you to focus on no no I'm not going for it. It's very easy to say VS is evil. You know, this was bound to happen. She was you. She's a demon. And then feel because everybody wants to hate somebody for something. But see, here's the thing. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Just period. Lady Nika is a liar and she has lied since the beginning. She's lied since the beginning. And she's just overlooking all of this because, I mean, she just wants people to overlook all of this. And people are, oh, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. What is happening to you? And what, oh, I can't even enjoy my birthday. You shouldn't be able to. That lady should have been had her money back. You told her she her money was on the way August 17th wasn't it I wonder it was August 17th is when this first started that she was her money was supposed to be on the way it has been over a month you've gotten paid twice from YouTube and besides that you say you work and you get paid every week you know that's not even including any extra cash apps or anything that your supporters give you in between and that's not including the other couple dollars that people were giving you during this time and it's only you that you take that you have to be responsible for you're only one person but i'm not going to go into that because people fall on hard times and that's okay but the point is is that you lied you lied from the beginning of sending her, supposed, supposed to be sending her that money you know and all the way up until now it's oh you finally sent it now it's now we're supposed to feel sorry for you because what because it's your birthday or because um she's still upset or whatever or because maybe she didn't get it when she thought and it was there and she didn't know or whatever it was like you have lied 
from day one, from the, the first time that this has happened, you have lied. You know, and that's the whole thing, you know. And it's just, it's not about liking somebody or nothing. It's just the role that you happen to play that, and I'm just talking to Lady Nika, the role that Lady Nika happens to play in this specific situation right here. You know, and it's just like, some people you just can't you know what i'm saying some people they're great in this area but this area you just can't fuck with them and lady nika i feel like is this person that when it comes to money and trusting her with something like that i just feel like don't fuck with her in that department if lady nika is going to touch some money make it meant to be for her it should be meant to be for her don't give her nothing that's supposed to pass through her hands and go to somewhere else. Don't depend on her to be responsible for anything like that. That's my whole thing. It's her birthday. She should be able to enjoy her birthday. But at the end of the day, you know, you and this other person came together supposedly trying to do something to help one of your team members to not be you know downed on that at that moment and you know it just went totally left it went totally left and it really could have just came down to nika how you act like you so up front and straightforward and you just you know are so on the up and up when it comes to talking about everybody else's stuff you could have just simply told her you could have just simply told her hey I really need this hundred dollars right now can I just give it to you at can I just give it to you, you know when I get paid again you know it, it might it might take a few weeks it might be a month because it's already been over a month it might be that but not just have somebody thinking that something is coming and it's not Having them be pissed off at the post office. Having them thinking this ain't working. Having them just looking crazy. Just all of this. When you could have just said, hey, I don't have it. I'm not even going to lie. I don't even got it. You know, I thought I was going to be able to do this. This came up. Anything. Just be up front. Because... When you can sit up here and you can talk about other people's stuff, you can place opinions upon other people's situations that they're in, but you can't be up front with your own shit and shit that you're, you are involved in, then you shouldn't be speaking at all. Not reviewing nothing that nobody does on no TV show. Not talking about no situations that people, other content creators are here on, on YouTube. Not doing none of that stuff because when it comes down to you and the situations you're involved in, you lie. So y'all, I'm going to get up off of here. I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Listen to her calling her card company and making sure something went through and then talking about disputing this and an extra hundred dollars and don't act like she, it's a burden on you and now she's ruining your day you did this to yourself you brought it on yourself at the end of the day you brought it on yourself you lied you lied about you should have never went and took the money back it was there you went and took that money back. We just going to let that slide by? We just going to forget about that? Are we going to forget that you offered her another $100? We ain't going to forget about that either. For y'all that don't know, when, when she was claiming like she was trying to send the lady the money and it wasn't going through, she told her she was going to give her an extra $100 just for her patience. And that was back then when it had only been a couple weeks. It's been like a whole nother three weeks since then. So it's been over a month since then. And so shit, I mean, you offered her the other hundred dollars. You know, what she ain't supposed to say nothing and say like, damn, damn, Nika, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who I thought I could trust again, another person who thought they could trust you with their money. 
um trust that what you say is right because when you talking about other people's stuff you know you sound like so wise and so much like you know what you're talking about and like you got so much sense so yeah personal trust you but here we go another situation you know you talk to them any other time just like bs you talk to her any other time but you can't talk to her you know what i'm saying so Nika, as far as I'm concerned, you know what I'm saying? You just another one. You know, like when you were talking about me, um, I see you. You see me and I see you. I do see you now. I see you now. I do see you. You right. You are right. So, yeah, y'all. I mean, we just ain't, you know, just don't forget the details in this story because, see, people will try to try to dwell on the stuff that's going on right now. And it's like, hold up. When you did this, did this, did that. You offered the other hundred dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You said a PayPal didn't work. So I don't know who PayPal she's sending it to. And she said the PayPal didn't work before. You know, so y'all it's just it's just amazing when people want to act like you bothering them when they get your money you know what i'm saying ain't that how it go when it's time for somebody to pay you back they act like it's a burden on them like shit you ain't wasn't acting like it i was bothering you when you was asking me for it or when i was handing you nothing now when it's time to give it back now it's a big ass problem now nerves <laughs> anyway y'all all right all right you know nika again your birthday could have been honey if you would have just left that money there at money ground if you would have just left it there your birthday would have been perfect you wouldn't even be having to deal with this but anyway y'all people always want to make something about them anyway all right, I'm off of here. Let me go see if this boy ready. Bye-bye.